Hello, friends. Um, I wanted to go over one example on the Khan Academy. Uh, judging by my seventh hour's response to this type of question, this does seem to be something that we need to go over. Uh, so this example is Tyler is bored in history class, so he is staring at ceiling tiles. He notices that some are squares while others are rectangles, and some of them are bright white and some of them are off-white. Um, and so we have this table with the number. Um, he's got 25 square bright white tiles, so on and so forth. And it's our goal to fill in the rest of these and solve for what X is. Now, um, I see why there's a lot of confusion. This is a hot mess of math right now. We've got percentages all over the place, but let's try to make something of this. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and make two different tables. I want to make one that uses these row percentages, and then another one that uses the column percentages, and then hopefully that will be a good basis of where we can get these answers. All right, so let's use row percentages. Percentage that is bright white and square, uh, that is 62.5, so 62.5%. Uh, and then in this row, out of the bright white ones, 37%, uh, 37.5% uh, 37 are rectangles. I got that right here. So 62.5, 37.5, 62.5, 37.5. Let's do the same thing for bright white, or for off white. Uh, looking at the row percentages, I have 69.7%. Uh, 69.7%. Uh, this one is X, all right. Uh, and then finally, the column total. Uh, it doesn't have this as row. Uh, it just has the total percentage down here because it is the total percentage, 65.75%. And then finally, 34.25%. All right, now notice all of these add up to 100%. So if we add up the of all the bright white tiles, the percentage of those that are squares and percentage of those that are rectangles, this should add up to 100%. When I add up 69.7% plus this, we should have 100%. So this actually gives me the piece of information that I need for this. X, if I were to take 100%, take away my 69.7% that I already have, I actually find out that X is equal to 30.3%. Uh, so that is my first answer here. I have 33.3%. Uh, and I'll go ahead and fill that in. 38.3%. All right. Uh, and then finally, obviously, this would be 100% as well. Let's do the exact same thing with the column percentage. Out of the square tiles, what percent are bright white? What percent are off white? Well, let's go ahead and grab that. Um, so first one, square, bright white. And we're looking at the column totals now. This would be 52 0.08%. Uh, square column that is off-white, that would be 47.92%. Oh, uh, rectangle, bright white, using the column percent. Rectangle, bright white, column percentage, that is 60%. And then finally, rectangle, off-white, column percentage. Uh, rectangle, off-white, column, that is 40%. And same thing here, if we were to add these up, 52.08 uh, and 47.92, that is 100%. And then finally, this is 100%. And this is actually going to be the key of solving this up here. Uh, this is gonna be the key of solving this up here. So what do I know? What do I know so far here? Uh, let me go ahead and add this. Um, so I don't have exact values here, but I know that 40% of the rectangles are in this category and 60% are in this category. So I know that 40, oops, I guess. Um, so right now, I don't know how many bright white rectangles, but I do know how many off white. Um, I know that 10 off white rectangles is 40% of that entire column. So what I can do is I can actually create a proportion. Uh, so 40% is 10, and I want to know what is 60%, 60% over what? So 40% of that category or of that column is represented in my 10, 60% is represented in my X. And if I were to go ahead and multiply those out, um, I would get 40X equals 600, and finally 600 divided by 40, that is 15. And everything else should be fairly simple from here. Um, so 25 plus 15, this would be 40 total. 
Uh, if I were to add those up, 15 plus 10, that is 25. And then finally, you can double check your work here. If I have 40 and 33, that is 73. And then also if I were to add 48 and 25, that would be 73. So a few things here. I went ahead and created a new table using my row percentages, new table using my column percentages. I found out that this breakdown, this ratio is a 60 to 40 ratio. So this has to be 60 to 40. So, and you could have set this up a different way, but I just did 40% of 10 is equal to 60% over X, and then you were good from there. All right, hopefully that helps out a little bit. Uh, avoid some tears. <laughs>